Hello everybody! Welcome to a certifiably spectacular edition of Box Busters. Certifiably awesome. And it's awesome because he's here. And he is Keith Howard. Uh, you too, Tracy. Bringing the show down a little bit is Tracy Howard. I think we breed awesome. We, we get these things going together. Hmm. That's a I, tough one, pal. Sorry. A, Are you uncomfortable yet? No. I, I like breeding awesome. Uh, well, speaking of awesome, Keith, we have 2009-10 certified basketball. Yeah. With uh, from Panini, the fine folks at Panini, and this product, you know, like so many of their of their first basketball products of this season, we've talked about how uh, the product has established a reputation in, in other sports. Mm -hmm. And this is certainly one again that that has found a solid footing in football, and uh, should be well received by the basketball. Hobby. That's what I'm hoping. I like the box. The box isn't it it's nice. It's different than their football box configurations. More square. Now what do we what do we know about the product here? Well that's a good question, Keith. I'm glad you asked that question. Well I do I'll tell you it goes live February seventeenth. It goes live February seventeenth. That's three days after Valentine's Day. Honey, if you're watching. Um, it's about ten bucks a pack. Ten bucks a pack. And in these ten packs that come in a box, you're gonna get Four autograph or memorabilia cards. In in one box, yes. Yes, on average. And so, uh, I also want to mention too, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, that's, a, that, that's uh, a One of the things that the product has always been famous for are the mirror parallels. They yes. do mirror blue, mirror gold, yep. mirror red. They've done that since the beginning of the product. So. Now, the first card I see is Jose Barea. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, one, bring him one. up. Juan Jose Barea. Or Jose Juan. J Jose JJ. Juan. JJ, if you will. He, uh, he is helping Panini kick off their 13 City Adrenaline uh, tr trading card game tour tomorrow. Starting, yeah, tomorrow and running through the weekend. Absolutely. The, here in Dallas, the All-Star Weekend. Absolutely. Now, so do we have any plans for All-Star Weekend, Tracy? Well, Keith, we what do. Are, what are we going to try to do? Well, While you're gonna, telling them what we're going to Try to do. I'm going to show them this uh, yeah. red freshman fabric James okay. Harden autograph that I bought number two hundred. We're going to try to be all things to all collectors, Keith, at the at the All Star Game, the, the jam session, and you know we're, we're lucky enough to have it here in Dallas this year. It's still like beer. Um, Twenty five plus years. Twenty. Since, yeah, since, since it's been 80, here in Dallas. Eighty five or. It's the I guess eighty five, eighty six. And so season. we are going to be attending jam session, obviously. Yeah. And and. Checking out that scene, checking out what Panini's throwing down, and we're also going to try to compliments. Hopefully, Panini uh, secure some interviews with some players, and just try to make a mess of things as much as we can. We'll be everywhere, Tracy. We will be. That's that's yeah. my aim is to be everywhere. Well, all you've, over All Star Weekend. Well, I think you've done a pretty good job of that. Just like this man, Kobe Bryant, oh, jersey card out of ninety nine. Nice. That's now sounds like something we need to give away. Is what I think. Do you think Pat Riley knows a thing or two about Kobe Bryant? He might. You don't see a whole lot of Pat Riley Lakers cards that no. I'm aware of. No, especially uh, more recently. Uh, I think most of what he's been out, had out there has been the Heat since uh, yeah. he was part of that so that's, championship run over our poor, lowly Dallas Mavericks yeah. who seem to not be able to figure out what's going on. Right now. Or, yeah, not, you know they're 10 and 10 since the new year started. And they are 13 and 13 in their last 26. There's Chris Paul, who's... Oh, whoa. Whoa, he's Sorry here. Call here. I dinged yeah. him just like his leg yeah. for this season here. Good. Can you be careful? Mm. Here's Sean Marion, the Matrix? Yeah. Who hasn't, who hasn't been... Well, Quite found his role here yet. Yeah. Now, Tracy, we were just talking about the last time NBA All-Star Game was here in Dallas. Yes, yes, sir. Can you tell me the significance of this man well, yes. right here? Well, yes, Spud Webb. And that appears to be a mirror blue. Mirror blue, number no 100. Now, Spud Webb, I believe, is, what is he, 5'7", five, 5'6"? Five, right around there somewhere. He's probably more like 5'5", five, five, but, right, but every basketball player lies about their height. The year that, the, the last time the All-Star Game was in Dallas, he was the winner of the slam dunk contest. Oh, he was. And he's from Dallas. He's from Dallas. Um, so now you know what he's doing this year too. Speaking he, of all star significance in the city of the great city of Dallas. Yes. He's one of the judges for the yes. slam dunk contest. You know what? I did know that, but I'm glad that you shared that. Now, 
I pulled a very nice Carmelo Anthony fabric of the game card here. Yeah, that's a die cut. A die cut. It's numbered out of 99. But I also noticed a couple of cards in a row here that had what appear to be shim lines, maybe. But, you know, the, a lot of times with the mirror, mirror board, you'll see a shim line action. Are you talking about the... What, what I... See, see that right there, the, the line? Can you see that? Is that a roller? What I refer to as a roller mark, or is that just something... In well, the it could be a, a roller mark, too. Um, but I didn't notice them on many cards at all, except those two, so... They, no, right. I, that's the first one I noticed too. I was flipping back here through mine and I didn't seem to see anything. Looks that's to be an isolated uh, curious. incident. Now I have to ask. Yes. In that last pack, you pulled. You've pulled one memorabilia card. Yes. I've pulled two. Yeah. The box has four. Mm. Do we have one in here? A box or a no, card? This, in oh, this last pack. oh! I bet we do. Well, I, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go out on, on that one, Keith. But it would appear that, as advertised. Okay. Product boy, delivers uh, with a rookie, no less. Hansborough. Tyler Hansborough, fabric of the game. Number 50. It is white, but that's okay. And it's 17 of 99. Why do you got to point out that he's white? No, and not There's him. There's plenty of good the, white players no, in the no, NBA, no, Tracy. The, the, the Swatch, I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, they're, they're, they're countless. Here's Kobe Bryant. He's black. Yes. Right there, number 24. Wow, that's... I'm sorry. I just had to. I know. I know what you're talking about. I saw it's pretty funny. That's Can I see your Kobe Bryant? Yes. You can see uh, Kobe not Bryant. that the... Oh, the Remember jersey. The yeah, because I wanted we got to, that. I had the. Other? I had the, the, real oppor the, the great opportunity last week to spend about eight minutes on the phone with him. Ah, I totally forgot about that. And the you, however, were, would not have forgotten about right. such an incredible no, experience. No, I didn't forget about it. You'll see it in the magazine coming up and online stuff. The interview, but I asked him what he collected. I mean, he's a, first of all great ambassador for Panini and for basketball and for <clears throat> card collecting. But I asked him what he collected. You know what he collects? He collects memorabilia from some of his favorite movies, props from. Ah, his, there you go. From horror movies. He's a big horror movie buff. That's a cool collection. I like to see that. So he gets his stuff directly from the likes of Wes Craven, though. Okay. Which I don't have that luxury. But you can just I'm call Wes up Rock. on the no. phone and tell him you want the, I want the prop mask dagger used yeah. in whatever, whatever. I want the mask from screens. Yeah, no, I, I can't do that. But Kobe can. But anyway. <laughs> A, a great interview. Look forward to it. Well, great for me. You probably won't think it's great work, but um, it, I look forward everywhere online and in Beckett Basketball Sports Card Monthly. Oh, Baron Davis, who who we can't we can't hype that enough. Can no, we? we can't hype the fact that he's the next uh, guest editor. Did a, did a great job too with his columns. Absolutely, he, he was loves very him some basketball cards. Yep. He, he, he loves him some math too. He credits basketball cards for teaching him math. That's what I was going to say. How do those go together? Yeah. There you go. We'll find out. Read, Read it. Read it. Overall thoughts on uh, certified here. I like it. I, I like it. I love the, the, I mean, the inclusion of a guy like Spud Webb or Pat Riley as a player, those might seem small on the surface, but it, it really adds a, a certain character to the product. We've got other, flipping through here real oh, briefly, we've got other Tim retired Hardway. greats. Um, and that was, that's one of the things I want to point out, uh, that Panini's done a really good job of this year. One of their goals was to kind of spread um, the, uh, I guess, history and learning of the game of basketball to younger generations. So including guys like that, guys that have actually built the history of the NBA, yeah. is great for the young collectors to go through and see the faces and see the short shorts and the uniforms yes. and the evolution of the game. Um, that is one of the things that I think they set out to do, and they've done really well so far. Yeah, no so I question about guys that. For that. Kudos to them for that. How are we doing on time, Brandon? Uh, we're, he, he gives a thumbs up. All that means is that we're going to leave now. All right. Uh, but Keith, thank you as always. Thank you, Tracy. Hope we've made box busting magic for you again. Hope we've bred some of that magic. Thank, thank you, guys and gals, for watching. Check the website this week for updates on uh, All Star Week. Yes. And we for maybe how you can win some of these best. cards. We want to yeah, win some cards and check out the stuff we post because we want to show you what goes on at NBA All Star. Yes, 0910 Certified Basketball. Look for it everywhere, February 17th, wherever yes. you buy your fine basketball cards. See you. Take care. <clears throat>